Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in this video, we're talking more about LED tape, pixels, and the like, and how you can use them to make your stage lighting show better. Now, today we want to talk about continuing our series on LED tape and pixels, so if you missed the first video, check it out here. But today we want to talk about what shapes and sizes of pixels are there, and how can you best use them in your show? So, when it comes to LED pixels, there are a lot of options out there, and it can be easy to get overwhelmed. But in this video, I want to go over some of the most common options out there, and also show you where you can buy this stuff, so that you're able to get a good deal on a reasonable product. Because if I found anything, about pixels over the years it is that you get what you pay for some of the cheaper stuff is really bad and will give you a lot of issues uh, but you don't have to spend a lot of money in order to get a nice product so shapes the one that most people are familiar with and think of when they think about pixels is the pixel tape or the LED tape it is a product that is usually on an adhesive tape um, that involves a copper set of copper tracks on some plastic with the LEDs and pixels on top of it. LED tape has its place, though I can tell you it's really not my favorite. Um, for a lot of stage applications where your first audience member is, you know, 30 feet from that backdrop where the LED tape is or more, um, I don't think you need a product that's this, this tight. Now the big benefit of the LED tape is that you've got 30 or 60 pixels per meter typically in an LED tape. Uh, those are pretty standard densities. And so they're pretty close together. The downsides though are many. Okay, um, You really can't do an LED tape project, at least not a custom one where you have different lengths of tape without having to solder, and solder a pretty good amount, okay? That's one of the big cons with LED tape. Um, if Even if you're decent at soldering, um, the solder pads on these things are pretty tight together. Uh, the pixel tape is generally better than the non-pixel, because with the pixel tape you've got three or four solder points, whereas with an RGB uh, non-pixel tape it's four, if it's RGBW it's five solder points, all within this tiny, tiny little tape, okay? So, when you think about these designs and you see stuff churches and other people have done, you see this tape a lot. I don't love it, okay? Um, it is harder to get going with. As I mentioned, you have to solder. Pretty, you pretty much have to solder. Um, and, um, you know, it's a lot of DIY. It's extra time, labor to get that done. And also, it's not truly reusable. I mean, sure. You can mount this to an aluminum track or some wood or something like that. Um, and then you can take that piece down. Maybe you do three or four foot segments um, and you could reuse it. Um, but when you take it down and you store it, you have to protect it. You can't be smashing it, especially the connectors. Um, and you really have to be tender with it. You really have to be like super careful. Okay. Um, and so it's not my favorite. Okay. So what is my favorite? What do you like, David? Well, I like the pixels from the Christmas light industry. Um, because when it comes to the tapes, um, the cheap stuff is really going to get you. If you buy the cheap stuff on Amazon, I found if you're buying, you know, a reel or two, it's probably going to match really nice on color. Okay, probably will. If you're buying five reels or more, it's usually not going to match. You want to go with a name brand like Entech, and they're good to go. They're friends of mine, but, you know, they didn't pay me for this. Um, they just make a really high-quality product. But you can get the job done, and you can work with pixels for a lot less cost, okay, if you go with pixel nodes. So pixel nodes, these little guys, are just pixels on a string. Um, the benefits are many. First benefit. Uh, if you have these notes, like they're on a string like this, this is just a little string of five that I use for demonstration. Um, they are usually about four inches apart, which means as you place them in your design, whether that be by zip tying them to something, maybe you push them through a coral material or a plastic material like I did in this video where I made a low res video wall uh, using a product from a company called Boscoya Studio. 
um, then you can choose how far apart your lights are. So that means instead of an LED tape, again, 30 or 60 pixels per meter, so that's about a pixel per inch at 30, about a pixel every two inches, or two pixels every inch, sorry, for 60. Um, that's a lot of pixels. And when we're counting channels in our lighting console or in our software, that becomes a lot of universes really fast, right? That's a lot of data um, because a universe of DMX in pixels is 170. Okay, RGB. Um, these guys allow you to space them out differently as you put them together. Okay, so you can do 3 inch, you can do 2 inch, you can do 1 inch, you could even do half inch with some products. Okay, and they're easier to repair. Um, don't get me started on repairing pixel tape. It is not my idea of fun. Um, because they're all wired together. They have wire between them. So if you needed to splice, you can cut these. You can get a 3M scotch lock, which is a non-soldered connector. You can, you just connect them together, crimp them down, and you're off to the races. Okay. Um, not only that, these are still really inexpensive. So generally expect to pay about 25 cents a pixel for the pixels themselves. You can do a little better sometimes. Um, going through reputable Christmas light type vendors, like I have one that's a friend of mine uh, that I've sent people to called Wally's Lights. Wired Watts is another one. Holiday Coro is one you might hear of if you go searching out there. Um, they're not my favorite for a variety of reasons, but I really do like Wally's Lights and WiredWatts.com. Uh, Wally's Lights.com, WiredWatts.com. We'll link to them below. You can get these pixels there, and they're going to be um, easier to repair. Um, oh, so distance-wise, you can go further before adding in more power, injecting power to these pixels, than you can with the tapes. You can go even further. How cool is that? And so with these, I can often go 150 or more pixels before injecting power. Usually on a tape, it is sooner than that. Okay, again, it depends on your tape, depends on your specs. Cheaper tapes, more often you have to add in power than expensive tapes. Keep that in mind. Okay? Um, so, we've got bullet pixels, okay? You can get these uh, from Christmas light vendors, etc. You can also get from Christmas light vendors other shapes. So, these behind me, these balls, they're a 50 millimeter ball. These are a Christmas light product. And the cool thing about this is you can string these. They're just strung by their wire. You can string them in the air. I've got them in the air here like marquee lights. You can string them straight up and down as a backdrop like I had in a lot of my previous videos. I modified it uh, for these ones. You can do whatever you want with them. They look cool. Okay. Um, that's another option. Okay, you're going to have to pay more because it has twice the LEDs, one pixel, but two times the LEDs because it's two-sided. Uh, you've got the globe that comes around it, and of course, the shipping is more because it's larger, right? Um, next, we've got our Christmas light LEDs. Oh, I talked about um, putting them into a mesh. You can also put them into straight lines with strips, and these are white ones because my house is white, uh, so for my Christmas light show, but you can get them in black too, okay? What other shapes do we have? Well, Christmas Light World also has these great waterfall tubes, as they call. Just a little tube. You can hang it with a with an eye hook here. You know, hang these throughout your auditorium, throughout your venue. Hang them randomly as a backdrop. Hang them out of a tree outside, whatever. And then that's 60 pixels right there. Boom, 60 pixels, all controllable, configurable from whatever program you desire. So the cool thing about pixels is that there are almost an unlimited number of shapes you can get. I've showed you here today the most common ones that exist, uh, but there certainly are others, and there are others available out there. So if this sounds something that's more interesting to you, definitely check out the links below to the different pixel shops, the different places you can get pixels from, uh, because there's some cool stuff out there. Then be sure to subscribe here, and if you're new to lighting, grab my free guide to begin with lighting. And then if you want more and you want assistance uh, with your next Pixel project, let us know. Uh, in Learn Stage Lighting Labs, we help people with this every day, and you can check out more about Learn Stage Lighting Labs below. But first, next week, um, whether you check out the labs today or in the future, next week I'm going to talk all about... What am I going to talk about? Next week we're going to talk about 
Do you need to solder? And can you build a complete LED project without soldering? Great question. I will show you how. Um, so yeah, you can. Uh, I'll kill the buzz line. I will show you now in next week's video. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.